I want to make a video and talk about Trump and why so many are upset and what others who support Trump just don't get, all right? And I'm going to try to say it in really, really simple English for you as I'm driving this three-ton truck making a video. Um, all right, you may have know a little bit of history, but there's something known as uh, uh, Adolf Hitler. And in 1936, um, when he took power, no one knew that he was going to be a crazy person. No one knew that he would, you know, turn around and exterminate six million Jews. And um, one of the first things he did was he brought together an alt-right group called the Brown Shirts. They weren't Nazis back then. They were brown shirts. They're alt-right. They're the ba uh, the uh, the band uh, Brandons. Uh, you know the folks who uh, who uh, ultimately are ultra conservative, and um, they started basically beating up anyone who would you know uh, get in their way and, and have sticks and clubs and everything else. Well. That's exactly what the alt right's doing now. Highly organized brown shirts. They're copying Hitler. Uh, uh, Trump is, in many respects, Hitler. And let me talk about that. He's, oh, how can you say he's Hitler? Well, he's Hitler in 1936. And if we give him a chance, he would become Hitler and he would be exterminating potentially um, Muslims and everything else. And, uh, and he said it as much. You know, I, you know, go ahead and shoot people. I would, you know, he, he is. He is, is potentially as right as Hitler. And something you should consider. You know, none of our presidents have ever attacked the media as Trump. Now, what you have to understand is his attack on the media um, is, is a common characteristic uh, with fascists and other individuals who are trying to take control. People like... Putin. He locks up anyone who's a free thinker. Uh, folks like Adolf Hitler. He attacked the media and news. Anyone that was talking against him, he went against. The brown shirts went and beat the shit out of them. Same thing with Mussolini. See, what a fascist is going to want to do is basically um, undermine the media. And that is what Hitler's doing. So, what the, you have to understand is that, yes, I hope, I'm, we're glad we have alt-left who ultimately have the guts to stand up and fight the brown shirts, um, which are Trump's brown shirts. All of these alt-right guys, if you talk to them, love Trump. They love Trump. They think Trump is looking out for them. Ask yourself, why is that, right? Why are the alt-rights basically saying, we've got a guy in the White House? Why is that? Well, because they do have a guy in the White House. And Trump's comments and behaviors, he's just saying, you know, oh, I'm against Nazis. He's never said he's against the alt-right. And he thinks the alt-right is good. And if you asked him as much, he would say, I think the alt-right's good. But what is the alt-right? The alt-right are the fascists, are the Nazis, are the, you know, the KKK, the white su supremacists. They're the folks with bats. And you better believe it. We need to fight these fuckers with our, with our own bats. And if I was in the States, I'd be in the street too, fighting these fascists. Because if we don't stand up to these fascists, guess what? They're gonna take control of the country, just like the brown shirts did in 1936, and ultimately created Hitler. And Trump is really the same damn thing.